<laughs> Woo! Hey everybody, hey it's the Kilt Man again, and uh, well, we're in the uh, the other set of woods, uh, not too far from the house, and today it is much colder, much, uh, but it doesn't keep me from, uh, you know, where am I? Wearing my kilts. Uh, I go year round in my kilts. Doesn't matter what the weather is. So, anyway, reason I'm doing this little vid real quick is, uh, as you can see right here, there's a bunch of logs. All right, and all all out through this area here, uh, there's logs. All right, this is sort of like where I started my. I created this whole uh, obstacle course out here by picking up these logs. So before I even ran the course, I had to build the course, which took me about a couple hours, no more than three, uh, hauling, pulling, lifting, tugging, carrying logs everywhere uh, and placing them and then creating obstacles uh, where I had to carry logs, balancing, walking on logs, just, you know, doing all that. You can still see kind of remnants of, of what was laying here, if you will, all right? Uh, it was it was it was not a small course by all means. It was it took up this whole this whole area. It was really wicked. Uh, you know, people were kind of just watching me doing my thing and wondering what the hell is this guy doing <laughs> and why is he wearing a kilt <laughs> and who are you? <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> Most people don't even know that I'm actually from here because they just think I'm an American, which by all means I am. I identify myself as being more American than I am a, a Belgian. So, um, because I grew up most of my life in, in California and throughout other states. So, but love nature. And when I saw all these logs laying around, I thought, hell, this is going to be good. This is going to be fun. You know, uh, actually, I kind of figured that I mostly spent some time in the military. And part of my favorite things to do were actually the, the O course, which is like a water obstacle course, and then the, the regular obstacle courses. Uh, love all that physical stuff. Just love it. Nuts about it. And uh, so, yeah. And it's uh, most of it is still laying here, which is really cool. So it means that most people just couldn't be bothered trying to pick up all this stuff or move it around. So, yay for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then we got some kids' playgrounds out here. But this is a really cool um, uh, park. It's an old fort from World War II. It's a fort all the way around, surrounded by water, and there's many of them. This is Fort 4, uh, but there is, I think, 8 or 10. Uh, I have to look it up, but very well built, very well created, uh, and they're trying to uh, reutilize some of these old buildings and whatnot. So, anyways, just thought I'd share a little bit of this. Hope you guys are having a great day, wherever you are. And, uh, hey, please subscribe. Uh, I always got more shit I want to share and talk about. And, uh, you know, by all means, I'm an entrepreneur. I love to connect with other entrepreneurs, share ideas. I'm definitely going to share more about some of the things I'm doing. Uh, I'm also in the uh, hilt making space, photography space, uh, AI space, crypto space. Uh, also, producer space uh, for uh, Broad Beast TV. Uh, and uh, many other things. So... It's always good to, to hear from other folks, no matter where you are in the world. Uh, we can connect anywhere and everywhere. So let's make that happen. And I wish you a great day. All the best. Cheers.